The question is, how did I come out to you? Like, come out the closet, like, come out. You're stereotyping my child, and right. I appreciate it. What's poppin', YouTube? How you guys doing? Y'all here, I'm here, my mama's here. Say what's up what's to Mama that? Easy. Hey, okay, so look, we here, we back on YouTube, and today, this is highly requested, y'all wanna do a QA. and a We doing a QA and a mukbang, you know what I'm saying, with my mamas. And uh, she requested the king crab. Um, I didn't you know. know I was only gonna get three. Yeah, <laughs> bruh. First and foremost, let me just say this, y'all. Like, this is King Crab. Y'all can't see it just yet. And it's mine is how many pieces you got? I got three. Oh, I, got two and a half, two and half? Like. I got two and a half. I got two. I got one and a half. This was a hundred dollars. Oh, yeah, mine is two. It's bent. That's one. Yeah, this is. Let me just open it and show y'all. Oh, I thought it was three. They tricked us. They, they got us. <gasps> Yeah. It's English. literally one and a half for a hundred for a hundred dollars. Yeah. At least you got some corn retort. That was two fifty each. Oh, you want yeah. the corn? Oh yeah, I'll take one. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I was just like, she might want the corn. Okay, so there's a fly in here. Nice. Alright, but look, we're about to do a mukbang and we're gonna answer some of you guys' questions. I told you guys to ask me some questions on my Instagram story and uh, nothing is off limits. So whatever y'all ask, you gotta answer however you wanna answer it. And that's just that. It's just you know Do we have um like jerks? Oh yeah. Jerks. Um, the things right under your phone. Oh. All right, so we about to get into it. Let me take off. Get your, get your, get your, what's that called? Um, a <laughs> I said a jersey. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I need this. I'm, I'm not gonna need it. So we got crab legs. These are the king crab. Also got some fries. They're pretty trash. These fries are trash. I'm not gonna tell y'all where they got it from. Just know we didn't get it from our spot, drunken crab. Then there's some shrimp. You can taste shrimp. <laughs> those, those look Stingy. suspect. Oh, suspect? <laughs> we gotta still eat one though. Okay, I'm gonna eat one too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I ask some questions, like I said, nothing's off limits, all right? Okay. What is your favorite memory of Easy as a child? Favorite memory? Go off, right? I have a couple. Your favorite, though. But one, okay, so let me explain, because it's, it's, it's two. It is okay. two. Right. But one is not like a memory of something that was done. Okay. It was just a memory of my baby. Okay. She had these black patent leather boots. <laughs> I know what you're talking baby, about. Baby, those was her favorite boots. So a memory of every time she really wanted to wear them boots everywhere we went. Oh my God. That was funny. That was your favorite though? But, no, it's not my favorite. Okay. But it is a, a good memory yeah. that I always go back to because you love them boots so much. And I'm like, oh, she only knew them boots cost, cost like $9.99 at Payless. <laughs> <laughs> favorite boots. That was okay. her favorite boots. But no, I think my favorite memory of you when we used to have magic shows. Oh, yeah. We used wait. to like sit in the living room and all the family would get together and we would have magic shows. Okay. So but tell them, so a lot of people don't know what, what you mean by that. So she would literally like make us all stop whatever we were doing, uh -huh. sit in the living room, gather around, all the family would gather around mm -hmm. and she would come out and do some kind of magic trick. So it would be a card trick or a coin trick yep. or something. And she'd record it too. So she was pretty much doing what she does now back then before mm -hmm. she knew that it was a thing. Yeah. <laughs> that it was a thing. Yeah, I love magic. But it was more like the excitement in her trying to do it mm -hmm. and seeing our reaction from it. Mm -hmm. And it was just my favorite, favorite memory. My favorite nice. Memory. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Hmm. That was for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. How do you feel that Easy's dad isn't in her life? Ooh. That's deep. They went there. Damn. I got to answer it too, huh? Yeah, you got to answer. To be honest mm -hmm. with you, I don't. I mean, me personally, I don't feel any kind of way, mm -hmm. but I feel some kind of way because I know you feel some kind of way mm -hmm. about knowing your dad, but because I know who he is, mm -hmm. and even when he was a part of your life, he wasn't shit. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's just true. Uh -huh. um, to me, I felt like he wouldn't have really brought any anything positive to your life. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. I feel. Okay. From what the, what I had to go on at a young age, but I, let me say we were both very young, mm -hmm. so he could have matured into a different person or whatever. So I don't want to take that from him, but I think what bothers me most mm -hmm. is how it impacts you, because I know that you would like to get to know him or have gotten to know him or had something uh, a relationship with him. Yeah, but I care less. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's I don't know. What? Well, how I feel about it is, yeah, it's like, kind of like the same thing. Like, as a kid, you always, like, want your father there. But when you know that they're, they don't really, I feel like, care to be present. And that's my thing, too, is because he's not a part of your life, not because I said he couldn't be. Right. Or you didn't want him to be. Right. He's still here in the world. Exactly, And yeah. he's not really made any effort to, so, to me, I... Mm hmm I feel like, how is it? Is it good or no? Mm -hmm. Oh God. <laughs> is it not hitting, Mom? I paid a hundred dollars for this and it's your trash. I thought this was gonna be heat because the king crab. Damn, you said any crab is good. I thought. I, 
I didn't think you could <laughs> mess up crab. Damn, where are y'all getting your crab from, bro? Like, what is this? I'm already done with half my piece. I'm about to be done. Okay, let me get another question. I'm gonna be honest. What? It's not horrible, but you ain't got to go back. Okay, we're not, we not going back. Okay, we're not going back. All right, let me find a question so you can ask. Okay. Ooh. This damn fly, bro. He's he's trying to get some crap. What's the question that you have for me? The question that I have for you mm -hmm. is, hold on. What you you okay. tearing the shit up? Mm -hmm. Now you know that I was a young mom. I had both you and your brother at a young age and single. This is true. Neither one of your dads were actually in the picture like that. If you guys don't know me, my brother have different dads. Okay. How do you feel that I did as a parent? Mm, that's deep. Mm -hmm. She went deep. I feel like as a parent, as a single mother with two badass kids, well, maybe I, one and a half. I was going to say, hold on. Maybe one and a half. I feel like you literally taught yourself how to be a, mama, a mom. You know what I'm saying? So for somebody that was very young and, you know, um, still trying to have a life and stuff like that, I feel like with two kids, one being bad, they're than the other. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not going like, to say which one was which, right? Right, you know? <laughs> I'm not going to say. I feel like you did a great job, you know, raising two beautiful children and everything went good. Look at me now. You know what I'm saying? There are ups and downs with not having a father present that I felt like, dang, like, okay, well, my mom, what if she can't teach me this? You know what I'm saying? Like, like a father figure that you would assume, like, you know, you're going to school and people are like, oh, my dad this, my dad that. And it's just like, mm -hmm. well, damn, like, you know, <laughs> about my daddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But as a, uh, I feel like as a single mother, I think you did a great job raising kids. Um, and literally, we turned out, I feel like I was bad as a kid, but not because of you. I think it was genetics. <laughs> so I guess it is because of you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I think it is because of you. So it's just like, even, but once I got to middle school, I think I started getting into church and stuff like that. I think I changed and shifted a little bit. But over time, like I, I now was like bad and then good. So it was just like, I think it was just a, a cool job as a mother, you know? I appreciate that daughter. Thank you very much because okay. Raising y'all too bad on my fuckers. I mean, oh, so it is true. <laughs> it is true. I knew it. It wasn't just me, y'all. It was my brother, too. You, He got his cot as much as Yeah, that's did. what I always say. That's what I always yeah, say, Darnell. But I think you thought you were so cute that you can get away with anything. You wasn't worried about getting caught. Mm. I don't even think you tried to be sneaky with it. That yeah. was the whole thing. And half the time. But that's bad, though. When you don't care, <laughs> when you don't care about being sneaky, it's just like, oh, that's a different to breed. That's a different breed. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so somebody asked, um, because somebody did know we have two different fathers. Mm -hmm. How was it raising uh, two children with two different fathers? You don't want to do now. Well, I don't know what. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, raising the two different like because like they were there. So, it so like, was it difficult for you at all? I mean, it was difficult for me to be the age that I was and have two kids by mm. myself. Period. Uh huh. Um, but you know, I'm a G. Oh, he, oh, oh. So, I mean, it, I, it was, it was tough. Yeah. It was you tough. know, I had a lot of lessons that I had to learn. I had um a lot of things that uh, I did, but to survive mm -hmm. and make sure that you guys never want it for anything. Mm hmm. And um, it might have been a little bit easier if I had, you know, your dad in the picture, any one of y'all dads in the picture, uh -huh. in the picture that I might have been easier on me or what have you. But I feel like I did any and everything for my kids, regardless. Right. If I had to break a law or two. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, God. I'm snitching on myself. I don't want y'all to snitch on me. Don't snitch. I'm over here. No, I'm just saying I would do anything for my children. So. Right. Okay. I don't. I don't really think their dad not being in the picture. I mean, of course, I, I feel like it would have may have been easier, but I didn't feel like that way. I mean, it's like, it, it is what it is. Right. Because y'all were mine regardless. Right. I feel it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this question, everybody's been asking me because I literally said this, you know, on my surgery videos. And like, everybody knows that you also got surgery too. Yes, thank you. Yes. <laughs> everybody knows my easy got surgery too. So mm -hmm. they want to know your your actual size of what were your size? Yeah, because didn't you say I was like a... a, 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 a what did I say? I thought, no, I did not say that. I said, I think my mom was a triple D or a G. That's what I said. What, what were you? Okay, what was your breast size? What was your breast size? It was an E. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, no, shit. Wait, what? that's bigger than a D, right? Yes. Or that? Okay. It was an E. But, okay, so an E, from this is from what I was told. Right. An E is hard to find, so a triple D is, like, comparable to an E. Okay. But if, if you went to, like, a good bra store mm -hmm. and they had all of the hype, then I could fit an E and it fit me perfect. Okay. But not all places had E's. Right. And so it was mainly a triple D. Oh. 
Mm-hmm. So mainly triple D. And then, okay, so I don't know if you know your size now, but like what size are you now? Like your bra size? A D. You're a D. Mm-hmm. So you went from like a E, triple, a triple D E to a D. Yes. I feel like you're smaller than that. You I look like a C to me. Well, thank you. Yeah, you look like a C. Wait, do you, what you want, do you, would you, what would you want to be? Like when you told the doctor if he, oh my God, this fly is going to yeah. be caught on this mic. Mm-hmm. Um, I said that I wanted a D to be a D. Oh, you wanted to be a D? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. I wanted to be a D. Uh-huh. Um, I, I don't feel like I am a full D. And that's okay. probably why I don't look like a D because yeah. they're not full. Like, I didn't get any implants or anything extra, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, um, they're not full. Okay. Um, could I fit a C? It's possible, but, I mean, I fit a D, so I never tried. Oh, so you should try it. You should try it. Okay. Yeah, I feel like, because I feel like it runs in our family. Like, Michaela has big boobs. Mm-hmm. Alexis has big boobs. Uh, Jersey has big boobs. So it's like somebody in our family on, I don't know which side, uh, your mom or your dad's side has the big boobs. And I would have the big boobs, you know. And once I seen her surgery, I automatically wanted mine. But then I was like, well, damn, I told you guys I wanted kids. So I didn't know. I felt like it was going to affect me breastfeeding, you know. But, but they say you can still breastfeed after having it. They said you can, but it's a possibility you might lose filling in your nipples and you might not produce milk mm. so that was my fear so i was like i waited so long because that was my fear and i was like all right f it i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do it you know um how do you feel now that you have done it yo amazing you remember this process Man. though the process i'm swollen still you know like y'all y'all still i'd be wearing black shirts but i'm still swollen mm-hmm. and it's just like i still can't put my arms down completely i still can't do everything it's been four weeks i've been seeing you do a lot of stuff yeah uh-huh. Uh-huh. i've been doing stuff i ain't supposed to be on one <laughs> you know, but I still can't do as much as I want to because I feel so light. Like, how do you feel? Like, the now day, that you're... The day of, like, uh-huh. as soon as I came out, I was like, oh, my God. Wait, <laughs> like, what? Really? Yes. Wait, first of all, the day you came out, how were you? Because I was crying. Like, I, I was booing. I like you. I what? Think you just, I think you just needed me there. That's what it was, man? Yeah, That's what it was. it was. Wait, so you didn't... What did you feel? What was the exact moments when you came out of the... Um, I guess the room, the wait, not the waiting room, the I remember room. just feeling like, kind of like, like, what time is it? Like, I didn't recognize how long it's been, how short it's been. I'm like, okay. did I finish it? Did I have this? Oh, so you already knew you, you knew you had surgery. I didn't know. Like, I was like, where am I? No, that's what I'm saying. When I came out, I was like, I didn't know. I was like, I don't know. Like, how long have I been here? Did I have mm-hmm. it? Did I not? And then as I kind of like seeing, all of a sudden, I felt like I got hit by a truck. Oh, that pain. That That's pain. I was like, okay, so I definitely did have surgery. Right. <laughs> I definitely had surgery. Mm-hmm. And then, is that the boys? Yeah. But I didn't have anxiety like that. It was, I was bad. Home. Do you remember? This is a side note. Do you remember when I was a kid and I'd be sleeping and um, I would always like be like shaking or my knees would be like, I just like tingly and I would go in your room and you tell me, this is when we lived on Palm. You would tell me to come in your room and then you would like lock your legs um, for, so I would like stop shaking and then like it would just make me go to sleep and you would rub my back. No. You don't remember that? <laughs> no. I, I remember that. I'm embarrassed to say that I do not remember Yo, that. Yo, I rem- that's literally like... I used to used to happen all the time. You don't remember? And then like my legs, like mom, like they feel like my legs are asleep. You don't remember? And you used to like not lock them, but you just like, all right, come here. It's like almost like you would cuddle me, but like, and then you rub my back. You don't remember that? I remember that so clear. That is crazy. You don't remember? No. <laughs> okay, so that that is something that I didn't realize that that was a trouble for me growing up. Mm-hmm. And I uh, came to realize it was, it was anxiety. And you know, um, I didn't know I did it as much until my relationships, you mm-hmm. know? So when I got with, you know, uh, my ex and then Natalie, she told me like I did, I would like shake in my sleep and then I just get like super like claustrophobic. So I think that on top of like coming out the doctors, I was so, sh- I was just like shaking mm-hmm. or whatever. And that was like, it was like you sleep, how you like, you know, when you're sleeping, mm-hmm. times like a hundred, that's what she said. And I was just like, dang. But either way it was bad for me like I'm I was so scared sorry, I don't remember that <laughs> yeah it was I remember I was like I, I remember, remember t- what I have for breakfast either so <laughs> that I mean yeah. I <laughs> yeah it was literally like like that but I guess I'm saying but Natalie that's, that's not said. but anyway my surgery yeah y'all as y'all know I was just like I was scared but after <laughs> I got over that and then the pills, like, for, like, two weeks, I was like, all right, I'm back to normal. Uh-huh. Sorry, my emotions. But, um, okay, so another question somebody says. Okay. Okay, so so Taylor says, how do you feel? Damn, this is a good piece. This is, big, this is a big piece right here. Okay, so how do you feel about Easy being a con- Or how did you feel when Easy said she wanted to be a content creator? When I said I wanted to be a content creator. Mm, how did I feel? Mm-hmm. Well, I felt a little nervous, I think. Uh-huh. Because um, I didn't know anything about dude content creator mm-hmm. i didn't know how that worked and of course, that was years ago too yeah and of course as a mom 
when you're talking about quitting your job mm -hmm. and you know just stopping all of this to record videos mm -hmm. that just does that sounded kind of like when your brother told me that he wanted to be a wrestler when yeah. he brought up i'm like okay that's just not realistic right like i i, I support you right in wanting to do that and if you want to do that part-time but don't quit your job because this is your main income yeah and i don't want to have you keep asking me for twenty dollars yeah so <laughs> it's like i want to make i want to make sure you still are in school you still are are going to work and you're focused on if this doesn't work out I got this in my pocket right I didn't want you to just say no I'm dropping everything and focus in full flesh especially because you were working like two and three jobs mm -hmm. you was you know back in school and all this all kind of stuff I was just like yeah I didn't I just was afraid that it wasn't gonna go good because yeah. that's just like people saying oh I'm gonna be an actress when I grow up right. everybody wants to be an actress when they grow up but how many people that want you know want that actually accomplish it yeah and yeah I was nervous that she was gonna be in my pockets a little bit longer yeah. <laughs> and, now, and now I'll be in your pockets mm. with hundred dollar crab right? <laughs> thank you YouTube <laughs> uh, yeah I remember the day I literally quit my job and I was just like yeah I'm gonna take this serious and as a mother, I can understand that perspective. You know what I'm saying? Especially because like for like, I say like a year, I wasn't really making an income. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't in her pockets. Oh, I remember that year. <laughs> yeah, I was in her pockets. You know what I'm saying? But I was still determined. You feel me? I was still determined to make videos and stuff like that. So do you remember the contract I made you write? Oh, I do. <laughs> what was it for again? Cause I paid off all your debt. And oh like, yeah. I'm gonna do it, but you gonna pay me yeah. back. I remember. I want you to write a contract. Yeah, I, I remember. How you gonna pay me back? Yep. When you gonna pay me back? The amount? I'm gonna keep you honest. Mm -hmm. I just want you to know I never got I never got paid back. You never got paid back? I paid you. I remember it was like monthly, right? Yeah, you paid some month. I, I don't, she didn't just stiff me completely. She paid some month. <laughs> Wait, what was the total? <laughs> Do you remember the total? I paid like ten thousand dollars. Oh no, it wasn't ten thousand. It was. I never was in debt for ten thousand dollars. Was. Never. Close you gotta to show it. me. Where's the contract? It's close to it. Show me the contract. <laughs> show me the contract. It. Where is it? I don't know. You don't got the contract? No. You and you and the contract. I could never go pay it. <laughs> I don't remember. The, I remember the contract. I just don't remember how much. Okay. We gotta see how much. We it was remember. close to ten thousand. I, I pay all your credit card bills. Mm -hmm. My credit card bills. My limit was only three thousand. Okay. I've well, only ever had one credit card bill. That was three. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, what else is there? I don't remember, but it was close. Okay. Maybe eight. Um, okay, maybe five. Maybe oh, I can break like, this a little. Yeah. I'm like, I don't even know if I ever had that much money back then. <laughs> but ten thousand is sound good though, right? Uh, that's no, it, was, it was more like five thousand, but no. That sounds about right. You still only made a couple payments. Nice, nice. Thanks. I gotta pay. We gotta pay Mama Easy back. <laughs> y'all make sure we y'all cash out Mama Easy and me so I can pay her back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Okay. So I want to know from your experience. Hmm. I don't know if I should say my experience first or your experience first, but the question is, how did I come out to you? Like, come out the closet, like, come out gay or lesbian. So I'm trying to think. Okay, now, let's tell yours first. So yours is, like, how did you feel about me coming out to the closet or whatever? Like, what was your experience? Remember the moment, the time, or whatever? Like, how did you feel about your daughter being a lesbian? Okay, let me ask you in the first person. How did you feel about me, you know, being a lesbian? First, I'm trying to remember when you came out the closet, because you lied for so long mm. that... I honestly, I think I remember all the lies more than I remember the truth. <laughs> because, so, let me just give you the background. Okay. Everybody knew my daughter was gay before I knew she was gay. Everybody would tell me that my daughter was gay, and I didn't believe them. Not because I had a problem with you being gay, but because you specifically told me that you weren't gay. Right. And I felt like me and my daughter have a relationship to where she knows that I'm gonna love her regardless. Mm -hmm. So if she was gay, she has no reason to not tell me. Right. So I'm gonna believe my daughter before I'm believing people in the streets. Mm -hmm. And when people would come to me and tell me that you were gay, I asked them, hey, your that. daughter gay. <laughs> hey, she gay as hell. Hey, I see your daughter and she and gay. Yes. Yes, okay. they'd be like, I seen your daughter, and did you know that she was gay, and she's be hanging with these girls, and this is that, and I'm like, okay. okay, so just because she hangs with girls that are gay doesn't mean that she's gay. Right, okay. Oh, right. no, no, but we, you, you haven't seen her, she dresses like a boy, she, okay, but just because she dresses like a tomboy, yeah, a, tomboy. Yeah. a tomboy doesn't mean she's gay. I was a tomboy. Mm -hmm. I never really liked to wear dresses mm -hmm. and play with dolls. I think the real only doll I really played with is my cabbage patch. Yeah. You know, so I, I was like that too. So I'm like, and I know I'm not gay, so that doesn't mean you're stereotyping my child. And right. I appreciate it. Especially when I know that if I ask her, she would tell me because she has no reason to hide from me right. or lie to me. So when everybody was telling me, trust me, they was all getting the smash face. Like, yeah. get out of my business. She gay. Stop stereotyping. <laughs> Right. And then, and then um, what 
So when I, when was the moment? <clears throat> you I don't, you did not come out the closet to me. There it is. Your coach came out the closet for you. Snitching ass. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I got a phone call. Tell me the, the descriptive yeah. phone call that you got from your end, because I want to know what your end sounded like. Okay. Now, you know I don't remember what I had for breakfast, so I might embellish a little. No, I remember. <laughs> you didn't tell me. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I remember if you don't. I What I remember is they told me that, that you had just got into a fight yeah. or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then they said that it was over a girl. And I was like, what? Uh -oh. They were like, yeah, her and her best friend uh -huh. got into a fight. And it was over a girl. And I'm like, why would they be fighting over a girl? And it was more like, don't know what your daughter's preference is. <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. And I was like, so now it comes out. Okay. okay. And then that's all I remember. Okay. I remember asking you about it. Okay. So okay, you, you remember doing? asking me. Okay. So my perspective is, yeah, I had been in the closet for a minute. I hadn't even told my mom. And yeah, I was in denial. But that as a child, I felt like regardless of what you can tell your mom to me, that was just like, I just felt like I didn't, I wasn't ready. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, like she had I... already assumed that I was. So I was like, wait, I want to tell you when I'm ready. Not when you just assume it, you know? Wait, Pop, I just remember something. I might lose it. Okay, go. What I do remember is before I think your coach told me, uh -huh. I did hear you say something that kind of, kind of made me sus. think about it. What's up? Okay. What you said was. What'd I say? And I can't remember exactly, but it was to, something to the fact because you were walking up to my dad's house. Okay. And you, I think, in Keontae and maybe Lamar were walking up Lincoln. Okay. And you pretty much had your pants sagging and your socks up to your knees. And the, the dudes... Wait, that how does that going, even make sense? Your pants sagging and your socks to shorts, your knees. Shorts. Oh, okay, shorts. Your okay. shorts sagging and your socks to your knees. Uh-huh. And whatever guy was coming down the street was honking the horn trying to get at you. Uh-huh. And you made a comment like, dude, like, you don't see me sagging with my top, with my tube socks and you really want to honk at me? That's what I said? Yeah, something what? to that effect. Okay. And I overheard that conversation. Mm. And you were like, to me, what I what I took from it was, <laughs> I look gay as hell. <laughs> and you still trying to get at me? That's okay. what I took from it. Okay. But, okay. okay. Unpause. Go so, ahead. from my perspective, I don't know if you heard the story already. <coughs> but, I had been, <coughs> um, I had been, you know, in the closet for a while. I knew I liked women since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? I grew up, I grew up around all boys. So, it was just like, I think it was that, that like, influenced me liking girls like just because like that's what they were doing they like girls so i was like oh okay they dress like boys i was dressing like a boy you know what i'm saying i didn't really have many girls around me or any older siblings like that like they were girls so i think that was my huge influence and, and I that's always because your grandmother owned a, a boys home yeah my grandma owned a group home so mm -hmm. it was like and i was always there at the group home too so it was just like all boys everywhere i went and i think the only girl that was in my family like that was like I was around a lot was my aunt Michaela, but she's younger than me. So she was, I was having her dress like me. So she was dressing <laughs> like me. Um, but anyway, so I always knew. But once I went to high school and I met my best friend, she helped me come out the closet like, to myself, like be myself. And like, I like this girl. And I never even told her that I, I like women, like my best friend. Then I was like, I like this girl. I started flirting with her. You know, I really liked her. And then I told my best friend and she's like, I knew it, I knew it or whatever. Like, you know. <laughs> She's cool. So then like, I think it was like only like two months. I don't remember how many months. So I told her like nobody knew. Everybody still assumed. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew at school. Everybody just was always talking. Like, oh yeah, she's gay for sure. But I never told anybody she was the only person that knew. Um, and my other best friend, it was the only two people that knew. Then literally I was on my phone. I, I have told the story. I was on my phone. This is when I was on Facebook heavy and she had signed into my Facebook. Uh, she had signed in her Facebook account um, on my phone because she, I think her phone had broke at a water park or something like that. Mm -hmm. And she was on my phone and then uh so i was like oh i got my phone back she was signed off signed in and i was going to sign out but her dms were open and that's why i see the girl i talked to my girl in her <laughs> dms in her dms that's how the fight happened so she and she knew i talked to her i told her like this is the girl i talked to like oh my god i'm in love like freaking high school um <laughs> i'm in love and like all this and she let me talk to her and she talking about i'm proud of you like oh my god i can't believe you're talking to her meanwhile she's they were talking they had seen each other, everything. Mm. I'm like, wow. I'm going through the DMs just hurt. So uh, I called my other best friend I knew. That's remember I said two people knew. Mm -hmm. um, I called her and I was like, yo, I don't know what to do. Like, she's supposed to be my best friend. And you know what she said? This is Danielle. This is Danielle. Danielle specifically said, girl, stop being emotional. Be her ass. That's what she said. <laughs> so it's Danielle's fault. Danielle. Danielle. My best friend. Y'all know Danielle. Ada's mother. Yo, Danielle said, why are you acting emotional? 
beat her ass. And I was like, ew. <laughs> right. And then she was like, beat her ass. I was like, all right, best friend. Lunchtime was coming in 10 minutes. And I was, the clock was ticking. I was ready, mama. I was ready. So then the, the, the bell rang for lunch. So then as the bell rang, I literally was just like looking for I could not find her. <laughs> then, uh, you know, I'm looking around. I'm like, yo, y'all seen? Because where we hang out, she wasn't there. I'm like, yo, y'all seen? Y'all seen her? Y'all seen her? They're like, nah, nah. Then my guy friend, he was like my guy best friend. He was like, he was my brother. He was like, I called him my brother. Uh, He was like, yeah, she right there. I seen her. Man, she was such a player. She had a girl like standing like, I guess she was sitting on like the bench and the girl was like kind of standing up in between her legs and then just like uh -huh. chopping it up. So I go over there. And I like kind of like move the girl out the way and then boom, push her hard. Mind you, she doesn't know what I'm doing and why I'm doing why. this. Yeah. yeah, so I push her or whatever. She was like, yo, what are you doing? Like, she, you know, that's my best friend. She thinks we're best friends. You think I'm playing. I do it again, like, boom, really? You gonna really do that? Take off my backpack. She's like, oh shit. Yeah, she like, knows. she knows exactly what mm -hmm. I'm talking about. We're about to get into a fight. As soon as I'm about to swing, my uh, the guy best friend picks me up and locks my arm. Like, no, you know about the fighter, you know about the fighter. And then everybody starts from like, let me go. He lets me go. I'm trying to get her, like he won't let me. So that's what happened. We never got into a fight. Oh. And literally, she lied to me the whole time for years and said that um she never talked to her, but she did. You could do that. Okay. Um, but anyway, so anyway, our coach talked to us. He got back to our coach. And our coach talked to us or whatever. He's just seen like, y'all not supposed to be fighting. Y'all are like sisters. Y'all call each other twin and this and all that. Like make up with your sister. She saying she didn't do it. Did you do it? It's like, no, I would never do that to you. Like blah, blah, blah. We was just talking. I'm not gonna lie. Like this was before, you know, you told me you were uh, gay or whatever. And so it just kind of like, that's what she came up with. Uh, and I believed it. So we hugged it out or whatever. And I'm like, we're friends still. And she's like, I never do that to you. I never hurt you. I'm like, you my, man, F the girl. You my family. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So after basketball practice, everything was good. You know what I'm saying? I come home, walk home. You know, my, my school is not as far from, uh, my house is not as that far from uh, home. My school is not as far from home or whatever. Anyway, I'm walking home. <laughs> it's, it's nighttime, not nighttime, like super late, but nighttime, like how it is now, like how it gets dark around like five oh, now, yeah. the mm -hmm. time changed. So I'm, I'm walking up home and I'm about to come in the, uh, the gate. My mom is in her robe, her famous green robe that you guys don't really know about. She's smoking a cigarette on a porch. I'm not thinking of it. This is her normal routine. I'm not thinking of it. And uh, she's like, so you're not going to tell me you like girls? And I was like, oh, so you, so you wasn't going to tell me you like girls? And I was like, my heart just boom, 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 boom. And you like, come here. And then she's like, sit down. So I sit down, there's, a, uh, there's a, 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 bit, a, a seat next to her. And she's like, so your coach told me and called me and told me that you got into a uh, fight with your best friend. And uh, I was like, yeah. And she's like, over a girl. And I was just like, and then she's like, I don't even know whether to be mad the fact that you didn't tell me or you lied to me. Like, that's what she said. And I was like, damn, she's not even saying like, you know, that you like girls. You know? <laughs> so she's like, I don't know what to be mad at. Like, you know, but either way, I don't remember. We kind of talked a little bit and you were just like, oh, like, I'm not mad like or anything like that. Like, mm -hmm. you should just like. Um, like just pretty much saying like you should just told me like first of all we got some gay people oh, in our family yeah. like uh, you could have just told me and I just felt super like oh shit a relief they're like damn this whole time I could have been told her like you know but I feel like as a young minded like that's something so like close to you to where you just feel like maybe you have to make it dramatic where you come out like I didn't even know how to do it so I was just like damn like it was like, damn, I could have been did this. And I think we just had, like, I don't know if we hugged or not, yeah. but yeah, I think we hugged and it just was like, everything was all good. Like, you should have just told me, bro. Like, that's how it went. Yeah. All that time, see? Uh huh. And I kind of find out, years later, found out she did smash her. I was mad. <laughs> she did. She lied to me. She, she lied. lied. But yeah. I'm keep trying to eat these fries. They're trash. Well. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're trash. Not going I well. Think I'm like every bite. Out of habit. You want this, these two shrimps or I'm not? It's pretty cold. All right, y'all. So this was a mukbang with Mama Easy. It was lit. It was fun. I'm mm -hmm. glad you're on my channel, Mom. It's been a long time. A long time, y'all. So spam the comments if y'all want Mama Easy on back on this channel. You know what I'm saying? You know, y'all know y'all know y'all love Mama Easy. She's still young. Mm. Or maybe you want to see Young Easy on Mama Easy's channel. Oh, oh y'all yeah. know my mama got a YouTube. Make sure y'all subscribe mm -hmm. to my mama's YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel on? Fox Fitness. Fox Fitness. All one word. One word. Her Instagram is Foxy. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Subscribe to me. Subscribe to her. Give this video a huge thumbs up. I love you guys. And uh I'm yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs>